What's up everybody? My name is Miles and I'm with Holiday World of Dallas and today we're taking a look at this great RV option for the person looking for something small, lightweight, low maintenance, doesn't sacrifice quality but is still affordable and can sleep up to seven or eight people. So this is the Keystone Passport 219BH. Let's go take a look. everybody welcome back to another walkthrough video like I said today we're gonna to be taking a look at this Keystone Passport 219 BH but real quick before we get to walking through this video did you know that only about one to two percent of the people that view my videos have subscribed to my channel so I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button down below subscribe to my channel I try to put out a YouTube video every day or at least five days a week so I have lots of content coming for y'all trying to make as many videos of these RVs as possible for you guys to see what's available in 2021 and going forward. So hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all the content. But with all that being said, let's start taking a look at this unit and see what it has to offer. So this model here is gonna be about 4,700 pounds and gonna come in at about 25 feet total length. No slide outs on the unit. So as we go around to the other side, you'll see there's no slide outs on this RV, which is what some people really like about it. You know, it keeps it low maintenance, one less thing to worry about, not having the slide outs there. But because you have a Murphy bed inside, it's not going to feel like you're sacrificing space without having that slide out. So let's walk around the unit here and see some of the stuff that they did. I know Passport, one thing they upgraded this year is you now have slam latch doors. So no more annoying little clips that you gotta deal with getting in and out of your storage compartments. Gonna be very solid, good quality there on the slam latch doors. And you're gonna have magnetized latches there to hold the door in place instead of the annoying plastic clips that break and stuff like that. So great upgrade to see on a unit in this price point range with the Passport and what they did there. Underneath you see huge storage compartment here, very deep. This is deeper than most travel trailers that we have here on our lot. Um, so great deep storage that you have. And then obviously the nice aluminum framing throughout looks really good. You can see it's a good quality unit that Passport puts together here. Coming along this side, awning over the top as you would expect, covers about three quarters of the length of the unit. So a good size awning, two outdoor speakers, and then you're gonna have your outdoor kitchen positioned under the awning, again, slam, or not slam, um, magnetized door latches there for just better quality on that end. I'm gonna have an outlet out here as well. So outlet connections for anything that you need there. Outdoor kitchen is gonna have a two burner stove, a little refrigerator, and then behind the two burner stove, you're gonna have more storage as well. One of my favorite things about this unit is coming along the back, you're gonna have the ladder, which will give you roof access, but you get this storage compartment here, which is so cool. This is going to give you quick access storage. A lot of people ask me, well, what, what is this good for? So first of all, you can push this bed up out of the way, get all this storage clearance space here. I mean, you could fit a bicycle in here, or whatever you want. And then what this door allows you to do is when you're traveling down the road, whenever you make a stop, instead of having to walk all the way through the RV, because if you think about it, you're probably gonna have all of this floor space here filled with all your storage stuff as you're driving down the road. So it'd be a pain to walk back here. But if you want quick access to something, you store it back here and then you can come open this door, going down the road, you can easily get into it very quickly if you wanna put your coolers back here with drinks and food, whatever it may be. I mean, it's just a spot to put storage where you can access it very quickly going down the road. Awesome to see that. Very few units have something like that on the back end of the bunkhouse, so love to see that there. Coming around to this side, you're gonna have your black tank flush here. So that's where you will plug the hose in to flush the black tank. Your connections here, this is gonna be a 30 amp connection for this unit. So one AC on here. And then you'll see it's pretty, uh, pretty simple along the sides. Same thing, you have your storage on this side with all your water connections. You do have key TV in here, which is awesome. So that's what this little 
um, port right here is. This is your satellite connection cable that's already pre-wired all the way up to the roof of the unit. So if you ever were to add a satellite or anything like that, it's already pre-wired and the technicians that will install that for you are gonna have a much easier time and it's gonna cost you or save you money because it'll cost less for them to set that up because it's already pre-wired. You also have key TV, which is gonna make setting up your TVs easier than ever. And you'll have electric stabilizers. So here's where your controls will be for the stabilizers right there and the rest of your water connections. It's going to come solar prep. So that's gonna be under here. You can see where you would plug in that solar panel there if you wanted to have access to solar. And you also have a sewer, uh, a sewer line storage compartment there to store your sewer, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word right now, I'm really struggling. Basically where you store your sewage lines and stuff like that to keep them stored under there, don't have to keep them in the bumper like you have to on a lot of other units. Two 20 gallon pro, uh, propane tanks that it's gonna come with out here and a power tongue jack as you would expect. So that's gonna complete pretty much everything on the outside of this unit. And then let's go inside and take a look what that has to offer. So coming inside, it's worth mentioning right away that there are two different interior color options in these passports. So this is gonna be the darker brown color option that they have for the furniture. And then they are gonna have one that has a, more of a tan type of color. And I will show that here, what that looks like. So you have the two different options there. This unit here, I'm actually going to zoom out and show you a wide angle lens view. You're gonna have a Murphy bed here. So this bed or this sofa gives you all this floor space here and then lots of storage. So you have the storage compartments all underneath here, all of them very deep. Then you're gonna have obviously your storage on each side of the bed. Another storage compartment here. And then this bed or this sofa, I mean, it's so easy to move. I can do it with one hand. And then with the Murphy bed set up, you unlatch these. And the bed will collapse, giving you your full size sofa. So great option to see here in this floor plan because obviously you're limited in space without having the slide out on the unit keeps your weight down a tremendous amount. You save about 500 pounds not having the slide out. So great to see that there and why a lot of people love this type of floor plan. So that's gonna be your bed setup. And you can see how much floor space you get when you don't have the bed down. That's why a lot of people love it. Because this is a bunk model and you may want some privacy, you do have a privacy curtain here that will go all the way across. So that's great to see as well. Nice black privacy curtain. Then coming into the kitchen, nice black appliances. You're gonna have a, a sink cover there and then a stainless steel sink. So a deep, wide stainless steel sink looks really good. Huge window right behind the kitchen there. And storage underneath, gonna be real adequate storage there. All of these drawers that you have, I mean, it's just, they did a good job adding storage to this floor plan from Passport because last year, I can't remember how many storage compartments they had in here, but it wasn't a lot. And this year they put as many storage drawers and cabinets as possible. So big improvement that they made to this floor plan. You can see how deep that storage compartment is there. I mean, huge improvement on the storage this year. You have even more storage coming across here So, and then this is where you would put like your DVD players, Blu-ray players, stuff like that, gaming system. It'll all go through that cabinet back there to the TV. And then that pretty much finishes up the kitchen. You're also gonna have a three burner stove and then a, a pretty small oven, but definitely will get the job done for most jobs that you would need out camping. And then microwave that you'll be able to fit pretty much anything that you need to fit in there. You do have your dinette that also makes into a bed and this makes a pretty long size bed. It's about six feet on the bed there. So 
plenty of sleeping space in this one. When you add in the bunks, you have about two, four, five or six, and then seven or eight sleeping capacity on this unit. So can sleep seven to eight people in here with no slide out. That's pretty impressive. Um, it's a great option for people with larger families and you know that are looking to camp but can't tow that much with their vehicle you know staying under 5,000 pounds this opens up a wide range of vehicles that you could tow this thing with and then underneath here i want to show you have even more storage so instead of having just the traditional method where you have to pull the sofas or the cushions up here to get to the storage underneath there they added drawers which just makes life a heck of a lot easier getting to that storage underneath and then obviously like i mentioned you have all this storage under the bunk there as well to utilize each bunk bed is going to feature a window so you can get better ventilation in these bunks here you also have two vents running along the top bunk so whoever uh prefers to stay cooler at night could definitely get the top bunk and stay cool right there and then underneath here you're gonna have another window so that person will get a window as well and then both bunks are going to have outlets and usb ports so you're gonna get that on both of them there then coming to the other side you have your refrigerator so it's going to be a gas electric fridge and plenty of space there I mean, for this uh, sized RV, it's what you would expect for the refrigerator size. So keep all your stuff cold. And then next to the refrigerator, you have even more storage. So you can see how the storage is really starting to add up in this unit. You have so much storage space. It is ridiculous. So this can be utilized a lot of different ways. You could take the, these shelves out and you can use it as a coat rack or you can use it as a pantry. Finally, you're going to have the bathroom. So a nice size bathroom. You're gonna have a corner sink here with the medicine cabinet right there. Open this up. You'll see you have your storage. You have a window in the bathroom. So just nice natural light in here. You also have the um, skylight and the shower and a vent fan. So plenty of natural light gets in here. One thing to point out is you do have about a six foot four, six foot five ceiling height in here. So you also have a lip going up to the shower. So that takes about eight to 10 inches off of the height. Now you do have the dome in the shower, but I'll show you with me in here kind of how much space I have being 6'2". Being 6'2 without the dome, I mean, obviously my head would be hitting the ceiling, but with it, I can fit in here. It's tight, but I do fit. So, I mean, you just, it's an RV. So, you know, you, you make it work. And then, Another thing that you have is you have this shower door that is going to latches just like that. It's gonna be a flexible material here. So highly durable material, but it's flexible. What I like about that, especially being a taller person with long arms, if I hit my arm on this, it is not going to be like hitting glass where you bang against it and stuff like that. It'll just flex and give with you. But even when you push it, you can see it's going to push that in and it's not ever going to cross over this edge and cause any water to run onto the floor. But that does bring me to my next point where if you were to get water on the floor, that's where Keystone's new floor technology, their hyperdeck comes into play. So the hyperdeck flooring, I'm gonna put details on the screen here about it. Basically the most important features of it is that it is completely water resistant. It is stronger than the previous wood floors that they used to use and that you see in most RV models. And it is 25% lighter than a wood flooring. But most important thing is gonna be that water resistant material. It's just going to withstand the test of time much longer, be very reliable for you over time. And Keystone's super excited about it and very thrilled to introduce that product to the market and excited to see how it does. Cause it's, I mean, a first in its class having a flooring with these kind of materials that are in there that are gonna prevent water damage over the lifespan of your RV. So that pretty much completes everything. They also have the uh, blade vents in here, which I've talked about in multiple other videos of mine. I'll post some of the benefits of that here on the screen. Basically, you're gonna be able to cool this RV down 20% quicker with those blade vents because of the way they push air out compared to the directional vents that they used to use and that you typically see in RVs. 
but that's it that basically completes everything in this unit give you another look all the way around so again guys my name is miles and i'm with holiday world of dallas if you're looking for an rv let me know down below in the comments or shoot me an email that'll be in the description as well and if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Like I said, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos and definitely love showing you guys these things. So subscribe to stay up to date with future content coming out. And if there's anything I missed, anything that you want to know, let me know down below in the comments. And with all that said, until next time, I'll see y'all out camping.